Hello and welcome to the official assembly tutorial for the Gotcha Pop system of 3D printable vending machines. We're going to start with the coin mechanism. After that, we'll talk about how to assemble the machine and how to integrate the coin mechanism into the machine. I've put a lot of effort into making this a quick and easy build and I'm very excited to show you the results. The tools you will absolutely need for the assembly of the version one Gotcha Pop is some super glue CA glue and if you're using that, I would recommend also using a CA glue activator. Just make sure that when you're using these products that you're in a very well ventilated area and wear breathing protection if you have it. This stuff is nasty. You also need some sort of flathead screwdriver or a quarter. It helps to have a utility blade, especially if you have printed parts with brims, which I recommend printing all the parts with brims because it helps from the parts warping because there's lots of flat square parts. Let's hop into it. We have a main housing back plate, the coin receiver gear, the spring with the triangle in it is the coin gate spring. This thicker little pawl here is the coin gate itself. The spring with the square in it is the ratchet pawl spring, and this is the ratchet pawl itself. These parts over here are for the handle mechanism, which includes the handle, the core, the wheel gear, two spacers, one for the front and back, and then an end cap. And then of course, the actual coin receiver gear. We also have these four screws, which can be assembled with a thick flathead screwdriver, or I made it to where you can put them in with a quarter. We're going to start with our coin gate parts here, which is the spring with a triangle in it and this thicker little pawl here. Comparing the two, we want the thicker one. All right, we wanna ensure that the spring is in the exact proper position in order to properly put pressure on the coin gate. And so we need to match up the triangle here with the triangle here and make sure that the open end of the spring is pointed to our right in the counterclockwise rotation. So that will go on just like that. You can get a closer look of how that looks. And now we're going to load the spring and put the coin gate into position. Start from the side and kind of grab the edge of the spring, load it in, put pressure on it, and then put it on the pin. Showing you a little bit closer, we'll take that flange, use it to put pressure on the spring, and then drop that into place. All right, next up is the ratchet pawl and ratchet pawl spring. Similar to that one, we want to make sure that this is in the exact right position. And we'll kind of take the square and turn it out of 45 to where it's in this position, going in a clockwise rotation and the open part is to our left. And then we'll pop it onto the pin right there. And then, and then just like we did before, we'll take the flange and use it to put pressure on that spring and then drop it right onto the pin. And that is our ratchet pawl. Next up is placing the coin receiver gear. Now you'll notice that there's a little elevated ring here and that is where the grooves on this gear are going to match up and rotate. This can be printed without support, but you might just need to clean it up a little bit so that it runs smoothly on that elevated ring. And this needs to go in this way with the coin receiver area toward you. And we'll basically just put pressure on both of these things and fit it right there in the middle. Boom. We will now take this good old rectangular prism and we will put it through the coin mechanism. And that is our core. And we can kind of test out to see if everything works properly. The gate does stop the gear. And if a coin is placed inside of it, it can move past the coin gate and the ratchet works smoothly. Now on to installing the back plate. We want to make sure that this curve here is lined up with this curve here. Simple enough, toss that on there and then you'll use a quarter or big flathead screwdriver to drive these into their spot. There we go. And now we can test out to make sure that it's working properly. Put the coin in and make sure that it ejects out the back. There we go. So now we need to place our spacers. We have two spacers, a thick one and a thin one. The thin one will go on the front 
we'll slide right on. And this is where we will start to use our glue. Use a dab of super glue. And I like to use a super glue activator. And then toss that on right there. Now once the handle is installed, we'll flip it over to the back and install the larger spacer. Slide right on. Next, we will install the interface gear that actually turns the wheel inside of the machine. You'll notice that there is a side with a small arrow and a side with a large arrow, or I suppose just triangle. The side with the large triangle is going to go toward the coin mechanism. And the side with the small arrow is going to go towards us as we assemble it. And we need to make sure that, that arrow is pointing upward toward the top of the coin mechanism. So that will just slide on. And then the final piece is this little end cap. And just like we did with the front, we will toss on a little dab of super glue, tiny bit of activator, and then we should be able to just pop it on there. Now the gear itself will have a little bit of give back and forth, that's okay. And it should be ready to go. That's the completed coin mechanism. Perfect. 